Hello everyone, good afternoon, evening, or morning, depending on where you are. I'm Christina, and welcome to my channel. I appreciate you being here and joining me. And today, I have a bag of frozen sliced apples. And I was thinking, it's 40 ounces, which is two and a half pounds. And I was thinking, what can I do with them? How can I utilize them to get them out of the freezer? They're already sliced, already peeled, already cored, everything. Ready to go. So I thought my friend and mod and confidant, Tamara, told me or showed me some that she did that are cinnamon red hot or red hot cinnamon sliced apples. And they're canned. They're water bath canned. So why not? Let's give it a try. So I'm bringing y'all along with me because I really wanted to do this. And I have had these sitting out a little while to thaw, start thawing. So the canner I'm using, I've had a lot of people asking recently about this canner. Um, I am going to drop the link for it. So this is the Presto Precise Digital Pressure Canner. This canner is electric obviously digital it does pressure canning and water bath canning it is an eight quart you can get the, get the sheet for it so it comes with a comes with an instruction manual and it does have recipes in this book and then it also comes with papers which i laminated Like I said, I am going to be water bath canning these. All of the show. So I've shown you that. I have, I filled, it has a level here. There's three. I don't know if you can see them, but back there, there's three different levels. The top one is for water bath canning. I'm doing wide mouth jars. And I put extra in here. I don't know what this bag is going to do. So I put seven. So over here I have a pot. And I have everything laid out that I need. So I'm going to get this started. So first of all, I'm going to put my one and a half cups of white vinegar. Like I said, I don't know if I'll get one and a half cups. I'll come as close as I can. And it, Okay, water. Two cups of water. And I am using filtered water. One and a half cups of sugar. I'm going to turn this on a number six. Okay, what else? My cinnamon sticks. Oh, I'm not doing this in order. It's just me. So I am pulling out four. My whole cloves. Two tablespoons. Cloves. One teaspoon of ginger and corn syrup. Okay, two thirds of a cup of corn syrup. I'm going to spray my measuring cup so it comes out. calls for less but I'm gonna put 
another half of that bag. And stir. Mm. Oh my gosh. This smells amazing. Making my mouth water. If you've never made, I've never made this before either. What am I talking about? But if you've never made this, it's a must try. So easy. And this is, I'm sure, more popular in the, for the holidays bring this to a boil turn it up a little more okay i just turned it back down to six because it started boil really boiling up so now that it's boiling i'm going to set my timer five minutes i want to let everything melt and incorporate okay back over here this side says pressure can you turn the knob like i said i will put a link for this if you've never canned before like this is my go-to canner i don't have a another one this is what i use for everything it's good also for small batches if you don't want to mess with like your regular big presto or american all american canner anyways you push, after you have it on water, boiling water can, you press the play button. Change this to 15 minutes. Push the play button again. It says insert jars. Push the play button again. It says warm. So it's going to warm the water and the jars at the same time together. And that is what you want because these apples are going to be hot in this syrup. And you want a hot canner and hot, hot jars with hot product always. Okay, that's my five minutes. It's basically been boiling, and I'm actually going to. And I actually did, and I already know there's controversy over red food dye, but I added like 12 drops of red food coloring. So you don't have to do that, you do what you want to do. So I'm actually going to measure these apples out so I can tell y'all how many I'm using. Like I said, this is says eight servings per container of one cup. So this should be eight cups. And we'll see. So there's approximately four. And the reason why I added the red food coloring is because I noticed in the videos I've watched. Yep, eight cups. In the videos I've watched, the apples were not red. I want the effect of, the whole effect of the whole thing being red. So, eight cups of apples. Stir that all in. Coat all your apples. I said I'm winging this. This is my first time. Make sure everything is below the liquid line, water line, so it can soak. And then you want to simmer this. Start out boiling and then simmer for five minutes. Okay, look how beautiful these are. I do want to remove the cinnamon sticks. See if I can fish them out. And set you back up.
Okay, I found it. So there's the cinnamon sticks out. Okay, now I'm going to turn the eye off. And I'm going to set up to start filling up the jars. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. I don't know if you could see about that, but it says fill jars. So that's what I'm doing, filling jars. And you want to do a half of an inch headspace. So you'd want to just do the apples in the jars first. And these are going to float. All fruit floats. You don't want to push these down, but you want to just basically level them out. And then I'll bring the liquid level up to half an inch headspace. So I'm going to stop right there. And then I'm going to... I'll finish this first one and then I will put y'all on fast forward. So you don't have to sit and watch me fill all these jars. There we go. Debubble first. Always debubble. Get all the air bubbles out. See all those air bubbles coming up? And then you do want to have white vinegar on hand to wipe the rim because I just made a mess on the rim. It's one, this is half. That's about right. And I did not put these in water this time. Finger tight. As soon as it stops turning, you stop turning it. Do not crank it down. And this is a jar lifter. You want to make sure you have one of these too. Yep, I have a little bit too much water. That's close enough. Okay. Put your lid on where it says install, remove, turn it to lock. Close this. Make sure that's on there straight. Remove the regulator. Whoops. Throw that in the sink. And hit your play button. Now it says heat 15 minutes. And I just opened the canner and emptied my little thing of vinegar into the water, what I had left, because that keeps your jars clear from having that build up on them. And in the meantime, you can clean up your mess while you're waiting on this to boil. And this canner does all the work. It will beep and when your 15 minutes is finished. It will go through a cool down process. And it will tell you done. 
when everything's finished. Okay, it finished. Kind of inhibited by the cabinet. Okay, I don't know if there was siphoning. I mean, I imagine there was because the water is red. That's a sure telltale sign, but we'll see if they all seal. They haven't sealed yet. So you can see the way the fruit still floats. But we'll see what the end result is. Hopefully they all seal. If not, we're going to be eating a bunch of apples, which is fine with me because I tasted a piece. Oh my gosh, they're to die for. So that one just popped down.